Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to another episode of Creative Corner. I'm your host, uh, Joshua. Today we are going to be learning uh, a little bit more about abstract painting. Uh, for those of you that are just tuning in uh, for this week's uh, episode, last month uh, in the month of July we did um, the background of this painting that I have it right in front of me. And today in this week's episode, we are going to build upon the background, add some abstract uh, imagery, and then um, that's all I have for you today. But before we dive uh, into our painting itself, let me talk about the supplies that we have on our table today. So right in front of me, um, this painting is really old. I made this when I was back in school, I believe. It is an 18 inches by 20 inches size painting. Um, I already had it prepped prime and then I just did the, the background color using lemon yellow, cerulean blue, and fuchsia, as well as incorporating uh, white and black. Uh, the background was done with oil paints, uh, so I had to uh, have time to let the, the paint dry itself because oil paints take a little bit longer to dry. To my right, your left, I also have acrylic paint. Um, these acrylic paint tubes I bought from Arteza. Um, Arteza is really great for um, beginner paint, uh, art supplies and a little bit more advanced supplies too as well. But I have acrylic paints. Um, it came in a package of 60. That's why you, have, that's why you see a, a lot of paints off to the side. To my left, your right, I also have a cup of water. And then I have a variety of paintbrushes. And then I also have a few pencils and a roll of tape because you never know if you need to roll of tape. Um, I don't want to get our tablecloth dirty. Um, if you don't want to get your table dirty, you can always put a piece of plastic down. I'm using a trash bag, so it's really up to you what you want to do. Um, but the cup of water is really great because it's going to wash off the paint off the paintbrush I'm using acrylic paints but if you're using oil paints you would need uh, uh, oil, uh, kind of like paint thinner in order to get the paint off the, the paintbrush but um, with that we're going to go ahead and like I mentioned before we're going to design the foreground or the middle piece of the abstract painting get uh, painting with that um, I'm going to be time lapsing that section so you don't have to watch me uh, paint forever in this video and then we'll go ahead and uh, stop right there and then continue this painting on a later date So the great thing with abstract painting is that you can basically do whatever you want and Prior to painting the background I had sketched out a few lines here and there throughout the painting so I'm just going to go through and redo some of those lines. Your lines don't have to be perfect because you're going to go through with paint and paint over it. But It's really up to you how you want to do your abstract painting. And I'm also going to use some tape just to tape off some of the areas that I don't want the paint going over. So I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can see, but I drew very roughly a triangle in this blue section here. Thank you. 
then you want to make sure you get your fingernail or something that's um, nice and thick like a an old credit card or a ruler and then just make sure to run it across the tape to make sure it sticks to the surface. And then I'm going to run tape here and there because I want to keep some of the original background in the painting itself. Alright, so I think that about does it for the design for the background, or the, the actual foreground, the middle section of the painting. Because next month I'm going to be adding on to the painting itself, um, but I think this is a good starting point. Uh, I'm going to be time lapsing this next section, uh, just so that way you don't uh, see me struggling to paint all this uh, minute second by second um, so just tune in with me to take a look at the final product and I will do a little closing statement at the end so stay tuned okay
Thank you for joining me today on today's episode of Creative Corner. Again, we did some abstract painting. Um, last month, we went ahead and did the background. This month, we went ahead and did the foreground. I'm going to go ahead and leave everything as is as to allow the paint to dry. Uh, tune in next month. I'm, I'm going to be building upon all of the lines and shapes that we've done. Uh, Next week, we are going to be doing some beginner hemp projects um, with neck, uh, making necklaces and bracelets. So make sure you tune in for that. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter. Uh, you can go to our new website, ofpl.online. I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the description. Uh, that leads directly to the newsletter sign up. Um, thank you for joining me again today, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.